its current pandemic is a setback, uh, but uh, there have been setbacks throughout the last 10 years. Uh, I've been going around talking about rational optimism for 10 years now, and every year there has been a reason for people to say, well, you surely can't still be a, an optimist because of the euro crisis, because of the war in Ukraine, because of the war in Syria, uh, whatever it, the, the crisis of the day is. And those are serious crises, as is this one. Uh, but that doesn't prevent the fact that this has been an extraordinarily good decade. The last 10 years has been unbelievably good for poor people. It's not been quite so good for rich people, but that's, you know, that's the right way around. We'd rather it was good for poor people than rich people, I think. Um, uh, so for, if you take the continent of Africa, for example, um, the poorest continent, uh, and one that 10 years ago people were still saying you you cannot expect Africa ever to see the sort of levels of prosperity uh, or food security that you see in Asia. Um, well, actually, you are now seeing that. You're seeing incomes double in 10 years in some countries. Um, you're seeing warfare become much less common throughout the continent of Africa. You're seeing mat malaria mortality rates um, down by uh, almost a half um, since... Uh, uh, well, they've halved since the, the beginning of the century, but they've continued downwards at that rate in the last 10 years. So um, uh, on the whole, in terms of lifting pe people out of poverty, in terms of uh, reducing child mortality, in, f in terms of defeating infectious disease, including most viruses, but not obviously this one yet, um, we are seeing spectacular improvements. If against that background... Um, uh, a pandemic kills hundreds of thousands of people. It's bad news, but it's not as bad news as the good news that is also coming in. <laughs>